First speaker, Mr. Sean Porter. Let me know when your timer started. Good evening, Mr. Porter. Started. Okay, so now that you're done jerking each other off with a bunch of trophies and participation certificates, here's the truth. You guys don't care about the disabled kids because my disabled son was deaf. You put him in with a bunch of dis dis disruptive kids. Okay, bad kids at Bester Elementary. There was no sign language interpreter, no instruction for sign language. We applied to Maryland School for the Deaf. He was accepted in December. He was supposed to be transferred in January. Dr. Annette Walters refused to sign the Board of Education form to transfer him to Maryland School for the Deaf. January, February, March, April, mid-April, I came in screaming about civil rights lawsuits and everything else, and then they immediately processed a transfer in May, five months late, he was transferred to a place where they could teach him sign language, where he was around other deaf and disabled children with similar abilities as him, so that he could have a normal life and actually communicate with kids and not get into fights every single day. He came home crying from Besser Elementary School every single day he went there because he got into fights with kids who didn't understand him because he was deaf. He couldn't talk. He couldn't sign. He didn't know anything. We were doing the best that we could. But you guys left him there. No child left behind my you people sit up here, waste millions of dollars, hire people with fake names like Dr. Well, this Steve Edwards guy who's using a stage name to conduct official business, which in the state of Maryland, if he's signing contracts and legal documents, I believe is utter the crime of uttering, which is a felony. But you decide to leave my disabled son in with a bunch of bad kids at Bester Elementary to get his kicked on a daily basis because you didn't want to give up the funding you get from st state, federal, and local. Okay, you didn't want to give up money, so you didn't allow him to get transferred until I came in and went psychotic in your lobby. And then you did. So everything that over there said about how great you are caring about the kids is an absolute lie, Ms. Williams. You should step down. Your disgrace, your disgrace. I already know about you. You're God. You're a civil rights violator. Mr. You've been sued repeatedly. Mr. Porter, you're a disgrace and you're a disgrace. Mr. Porter. You will not interrupt my time, ma'am. I have a First Amendment right to tell you my opinions. Mr. This Porter, is the right to redress of grievances in your face, Ms. Williams. We appreciate your participation in the meeting. And while I encourage you to address you're the Board of Education, you're stealing my time. You're I will, stealing my and time. And I will give you time. You, you worthless f***ing Okay. You tortured my disabled Board, son, and you will time, answer for it in a court of law. I recommend that we go into close session. I'm not at five minutes, lady. To obtain legal advice pursuant not to the general minutes, provisions lady. article of the Annotated Code of Maryland. You're silencing my free speech during my... I signed up two weeks ago to talk, and you're May silencing my free speech. May I have a motion, please, and a second? So moved. Thank you, Mrs. Murray. Is there a second? You guys are going to silence my free speech because you don't like what I'm saying. That's viewpoint Mr. discrimination. Mr. Porter, while I appreciate your participation, no, you don't. would you please refrain from using profanity in your no, comments? First Amendment, freedom of so speech, that that's my opinion of your job. You're doing a shitty job. You're an awful God. And a week ago to Dale Evans, I watched you condescend a fellow board member like he was a two year old. You chastised him for disagreeing with you. Lady, you are everything that's wrong with the bureaucracy that's here in this building. Downsville Pike is a disgrace. The teachers are doing a great job in this county, like the people that got the awards. But people like you hamstring their abilities to teach children like mine. You're a f***ing disgrace. F*** you. Have a good day. Our next speaker is Robin Spickler. Mrs. Spickler.